what I'll show to you now is an Arduino shield that mimics the functionality of the GPI and Tally interface box from Blackmagic. And the shield looks like this in a typical Arduino enclosure. On this shield, all the components on the output side, the relays and the optocouplers are exactly the same components used inside the Blackmagic box. So it's uh, fully compatible. One thing that it doesn't have this one is the duplication of the Ethernet port. But it does have some additional features. And one of them is that you actually have a little um, LED that indicates which of these tally outputs are currently on program. So as you can see that I switch, you also see the small LED change. And that's a pretty nice confirmation to have when you look at the shield. Another cool thing is that you can both take the tally uh, and the GPI outputs and inputs on this connector, but you also have them on sturdy Phoenix connectors right here. And I have an example from my camera just close by. So now I connect this Phoenix connector to output one. And I also take my power supply because the tally outputs of this box and this box as well is a closure to ground. So we need some power and when I apply power and you can see my camera now has a nice tally light over here and when I switch the tally light switches as well. Another cool thing about having your own GPI and tally box is that you can program your outputs exactly as you want them and uh, instead of just showing program tally you could imagine that you wanted to have preview tally as well. So if we look at this camera you will see on the back side, there we have a box with a red and a green LED. And this is currently configured so that if um, camera one is on preview, you will actually see the green LED light, while if it's on program, you will see the red LED light. And this is simply by connecting an additional Phoenix connector to this one. So obviously the consequence is that you can now only have four cameras on this box but you do have this additional information to your camera operator. So let's uh, turn on this. You can now see that since we have camera one on preview, we have the green LED. When we switch it back onto program, we have the red LED. You can see it is confirmed on the front right here. And we go back to preview and it's green. Now this is of course open hardware and open software so you can program it yourself to exactly the functionality you like. And one thing that I wondered about with this one the last time I checked, and maybe there's a firmware upgrade now, but last time I checked it did not feature any GPI. Excuse me if I was mistaken, but I couldn't make the GPI work. And what is GPI? GPI means general purpose inputs. So basically it's like you short two of these uh, pins in the connector and it's supposed to send a command to the ATEM switcher. Of course we can take control ourselves if we have our own box. So on this one we have the GPI enabled and by default by the programming I've made I just um, select that particular input for program. I'll just show you but um, in order to do that I'll use another product which is this one that's a breakout board that is compatible with this connector on both of these boxes and now I'll just use it because I have no Phoenix connectors for my inputs. So when I connect this, I now have Phoenix connectors for all the inputs here. And um, then I have this tiny little button, push button, which I can now connect to one of the GPI inputs. And that will allow me to uh, switch my camera over here to program. So let's position this one. So we can see the camera, it has the LED for program here and I put my button here and when I press the camera goes on program. And now imagine that you wired up another button to input 2 and when you push that input 2 goes to program and this is off again of course. You can also decide to program it differently. Instead of switching to the input corresponding to GPI one through eight. You could also decide that when you push uh, or, or connect 
GPI2, then it would make a, an auto transition or it would enable the downstream keyer or any other thing that you can program with the ATIM library for the Arduino. So it's really, really flexible and you can imagine many ways you could, you could have a foot pedal. There are multiple options with this board. It's really cool.